Hi, Camp in the Community Campers. It's your friend, Danaea, again. And today we're gonna do some taste bud mapping. So on your tongue are things called taste buds. And on each of your taste buds are chemical receptors that can tell you what your mouth is tasting. So on different parts of your tongue are different receptors. And these grab onto the different flavors that you put into your mouth and you'll feel them on different parts of your tongue depending on the flavor sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and a new flavor called umami. So first you're gonna to wanna to grab some things from your camp kit. You should have a baggie that has five items in it. A warhead, a wasabi pea, a lifesaver candy, I have a dark chocolate chip, but you'll have a coffee bean and a cracker. You should have a pack of two saltine crackers. Then you're going to have in your activity book, a taste bud map. It's going to have a picture of a tongue on it. And then you want to grab your markers so we can do some coloring. Now that you have all your materials, you're going to taste them. So I suggest starting with your wasabi pea. This is the flavor called umami. Umami is just kind of like a savory, like what you taste when you eat meats or things like that. And you should feel it in the center of your tongue. It's gonna to be a little spicy. So just a warning, I'm gonna taste it now. It was good. Then you're gonna pick a marker color for that flavor and just color on your map where you tasted it. So, I tasted it in the very middle of my tongue first. It was very spicy. I'm gonna use purple for umami. But I also tasted it kind of around the back. So I'm just gonna draw some little dots. Pretty good. Next, I'm gonna try my cracker. You're gonna have a saltine crackers, which are very salty. Normally the salty is tasted towards the middle, but on the sides of your tongue. So I'm gonna try my cracker now. So I'm going to pick a marker color for my salty. I mainly tasted it kind of towards the front in this area, but on the other side of my tongue, it was a little farther back. And just remember, everyone's tongue is different. You have lots of receptors across your whole tongue, but they might not be in exactly the same place as your friend. This is a warhead. Very, very sour, okay? Just a warning. Your sour taste is gonna be towards the back of your tongue. Um, it might be a tingling sensation or even um, a slight burning. So just be prepared. If you really, really hate sour, I would advise against this part, but just try it. <laughs> So I feel that across the whole back of my tongue. My throat is throbbing a little bit. If you feel discomfort, please spit out your warhead. Whew. I'm gonna pick hmm, orange for that sour taste. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I felt that all over here. And a little bit at the front. That means I've got some sour receptors towards the front of my mouth. If you would like to have a cup of water for this activity to rinse out your mouth between flavors, that's great. 
that sour will kind of burn every other flavor out of your mouth. Wow. All right. Next up we have, you're going to have a coffee bean. I have a dark chocolate chip. And so you might know chocolate candy and it's really sweet when you have a Kit Kat or Hershey's or a nice cup of hot cocoa. But real cocoa comes from a cacao plant and it is extremely bitter. When you have chocolate candy, sugar gets added and milk gets added to make that flavor a lot better. But pure dark chocolate is very bitter. And that's taste bud mapping. I hope you've learned a little bit about your tongue and your body today. Next time you're having a snack or eating something, try to figure out what flavors you're feeling in your mouth and enjoy that piece of candy.